Hi, I'm Kevin from Original Minifig. And I'm Mike from Free Big Friends. Today we're going to look at the Creator Expert set number 10242, which is the Mini Cooper Mark 7. It was released in August 2014 and retail priced at 100 US dollars, 90 euros, and 75 UK pounds. It comes with uh, 1077 pieces, and let's have a closer look. Yeah, so this is it close up, and I think actually this is one of the best things I've built in a long time. It's a great challenging build with some really great features, but it turns out looking awesome. It was a really good looking car when you finish it. Well, on the exterior, the first thing that I think is really cool is the, just the color. I just love the dark green uh, color of this thing, and you get a lot of really, really cool elements. There are some printed uh, elements, like these uh, curved uh, pieces that have uh, a line going across them. Also, the, the build itself is just really, really well thought out. Yeah, there's, there, is, there is some nice features. There's some nice little things, like they've used a large windscreen, and because it wraps around the side, it becomes a bit of a side window, like they've wound down the window and there's still a bit of a quarter window in there. The nice thing about this car is it fights against blockiness the whole way. Even the bonnet has a pleasing slope to it. And yes, everything follows a, a, a pleasing line, like it's been designed to be that way. Nothing has been cheated on this, just to uh, try and get through it. And I really like it, even down to the roof with a slight edge on the top. It's, it's really well put together. I think it's also really interesting the piece they used for the door handle here, which really is ice skates. Yes, yeah, that's really cool. That's good. And the rear view mirrors on the side here actually do even have glass. I think the, the whole car gets even more interesting once you open the door and you look inside it. Yes, the, the inside has actually some really, really interesting builds in it. The seats are great builds. The seats have a lovely action and they fold forward so kids can get in the back, things like that. But I think the two things that stand out most to me about the inside, and I'm sure you've got some other ideas, the two things that stand out most to me are the gear stick, which has just got an amazing way of clipping together and sticking to the floor. So it can be moved in a number of directions. I really like that. I really like the angle you can create with that. But also, there's a small amount of detail on the interior trim on the door. The leather material on the inside of the door, which is made out of tiles, has a pleasing, a really pleasing little gap, almost like there's green stitching through it. And that's just a beautiful way that you know that somebody's actually taken the time to think that through. And that's what's great about these Creator Expert sets. I think once you're talking about upholstery, uh, the seats are really, really cool. Um, the way they use the tiles in these, I mean, if I were to come up with this, I would maybe make a checkered pattern, but they've actually thrown three different colors in there, which is really, really interesting, and it just adds so much more to the whole design of it. Yeah, the, actually the interesting thing with the chair is when we built it, we put the headrests on, and they were, they were wrong. They were put on, and we put them on how we thought we would put on, but actually they come forward, and in the car they look quite good, but they were a strange idea to me at the time. But I think they work well. I think, it, I think they're okay. Also, the dashboard comes with some detail. It has like three speedometer um, round tiles, which obviously would be three different type of dials. Um, there's a radio and there's even heaters in there. So there's also a really good, nice back seat. But if we go back to the outside of the vehicle, there's a lot of detail in the front and the back of the car. If we look at the back of the car first, it's holding all the picnic stuff, which is a really good little build. It's really excellently done. The picnic basket is excellent. But the water bottle, it's only four or five pieces, but it's outstandingly well designed. I'm really, really impressed by that. And the interesting thing is, if we zoom in on that, you can see there is a position in the boot for every single thing. And there's even a little stopper there to stop the water bottle from moving around. It's just really nicely positioned and, and works out really well. And again, the boot has that lovely pleasing curve to it. I guess this would be a good point to 
talk about the license plates. There is a, two sticker sheets with it. One sticker sheet that has the generic mini logos that you can use, that you will use, all of them for the car. But actually, they give you five different license plates. Five for the front, five for the back. Um, can you remember what they are, Kevin, for the countries? Yes, uh, there are license plate stickers for Germany, there are for Denmark, we have for Australia, and we also have a, a Connecticut license plates for uh, the United States. Yes, and the ones we put on the car are the UK license plates because that's really where this Mini is originating from. Yes, so that's actually great. And these stickers, although they're on a sticker sheet, you could actually put them on other tiles and keep them and replace them if you were wanting to stage it in different countries. When we're talking about stickers, this set really does not have a lot of stickers. I mean, we have stickers for the license plates and, and a couple of, of little stickers, you know, one in the front, one in the back, one on either side, yeah. and that's it for stickers on this thing. Yeah, the Everything other else is printed. printed. Yes. So if we go to the front of the car, we can open the hood and reveal the engine. It does have uh, quite a few details. We have air intakes, we have uh, the cylinders. Um, I really like the use of metallic silver pieces on this. Yeah, the bumpers are made out of Technic pieces and they work really well, I think. But the lights actually are the style of the front of the car. They're brilliantly put together and really effective. All in all, I think this is a really, really good build. Uh, to me, this is a great, great um, display model. Yeah, but equally, kids could run around the carpet and smash it in at things. I think it works well on every level. Yes, because the whole thing is really solid. And actually, once you're done with it, it has some weight to it. It feels like a real solid build. It does, yes, it looks like so. I, I do really like it and I would highly recommend it as a, as a present for someone or as something to build yourself. So I guess the last part of the car is the spare wheel. You wouldn't think it, but they've actually made room for a spare wheel underneath the boot of the car. And the nice thing is they've done it in a different colour to make it look like it's not an alloy wheel, it's a cheaper version as a spare wheel. And actually to get to your spare wheel, you would remove all your picnic items from the trunk and then you open the floor of the trunk and it reveals your spare wheel. It's a, yes, yeah. it's a lovely feature. I really do like that idea. So do you want to have a quick look at the picnic basket before we finish? Yeah, this picnic basket is really interesting. It does have a, well, a retro look to it, uh, like a 50s kind of look. Uh, it has a piece of bread, it has glasses, uh, um, but what is actually really funny is for the first time, like we call these cheese wedges, and uh, they are actually used as cheese. Yeah, that's, I think that's probably the first time, and it is just amazing that they picked a couple of cheesy colors to make the cheese wedges. So the other thing you get with this set is you get a picnic blanket, which is one of those pieces that LEGO do every so often, but they're great, it works really nicely, and you know what, sticking the basket and the water bottle on top of it, it really does look like a classic scene from a picnic. That water bottle is one of the simplest but genius builds, and it's such a nice addition to the set. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this review. If you uh, are interested, you should check out Mike's channel or my own channel. The links are in the description or coming up in a minute. Yes, if you would like to hit the subscribe button, that'd be great. And if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.